because it's Halloween, I don't get to show off my terrifying monster movie horror collection too often to YouTube land. These are all the figures I picked up over the years. Every one is pretty terrifying. Got this Jurassic World alligator, got some sharks in here. Theme with Jaws and Sharknado. We got 2015 Godzilla, pretty scary. And that Gujitsu, his face is pretty scary. We got the, 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 the creepy, creepy robot head, the uh, toy head on a body from Toy Story 2. Got these guys from Overwatch, they're pretty gruesome. Next are my classic horror figures. We got the Headless Horseman, Gargoyle, Four Arms from Ben 10, that guy with the red wings, my zombie customs, my other little figures that are monsters and pretty terrifying, and some Pirates of the Caribbean mixed in here as well. Over here, we got my Monsters, Inc. guy with a clipboard. He's a monster while he's here. Over here, we got this little squish pumpkin. He's here all year long now. And we got these epic novelties and figures. We got some wind-up monsters. Got some aliens. Got a Treasure X. Got that lizard lady. Pretty scary Jack-Jack monster. We got the Underminer. He's pretty terrifying. And Stitch. And this guy, pretty terrifying, and some skeleton dinosaurs, which I do own those. And the last thing on my horror shelf is all these alien and predator figures. Take a look. I have four figures in all. We got the alien queen, we got an alien, we got my custom colonial marine, and of course, a mecha predator. And of course, up here is some mechanized battle armor dinosaurs. Well, I got these, I got these from my work, and yeah, I do love some mechanized dinosaurs, and this has been my entire Halloween-themed horror collection here in 2024, and yeah, this is one awesome Halloween-themed collection. Well, I have plans to collect more Halloween-style figures. Yes, I will keep making this shelf this shelf area bigger and bigger until you see a whole collection here. But for now, I got quite the lot of monster figures. And I'm always on the hunt for some more. And this has been Eddie Hill's entire monster figure collection here as of 2024. Do I highly recommend you pick up any of these figures if you can find them? Yes. They look awesome, they're amazing, and that's why my horror collection is amazing on Halloween. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.